Perhaps you have wondered why a bite from a rabid dog can kill you. Well, here is somebody that it killed. It's a section of a brain, as you could see again. Notice here, there appear to be not too many bigger type cells. So this could more likely be a white matter area. Notice throughout this area, however, it is stippled with large cells. So this could be more of a gray matter area. All these little white black spaces, there are neurons, and all of the uh, tissue surrounding them are glial cells. And here it's almost entirely glial cells. And here are some nerve fibers as well. Let's zoom in on this part of the brain. I wish I knew exactly where it was. It doesn't seem like it's cerebellum, but it could be part of it. Uh, I don't know. Rabies can affect neurons in many different parts of the brain. But take a look at some of these nerve neurons here, the actual cell bodies as compared to the uh, myelinated fibers and glial cells in between. Notice, and I'm sorry, this is as far as we could go. Notice how in some of these cells, separate from the nucleus, you have these red granules. Like that's the best one I could find. But there's another really nice one as well. Uh, Negri bodies, N-E-G-R-I bodies, which are the viral inclusions inside of the cytoplasm of involved neurons with uh, people uh, with rabies is what these little red granules are. They're red, they can be multiple, they can be variable sizes, and they are not in the nucleus. And whereas they are not the actual virus particles themselves, they are very close, they are proteinaceous particles associated with the virus. I would like to show you a even better picture of one, which uh, I was lucky enough to uh, find uh, by Googling, which is where I get most of my material. This is a uh, neuron. You can see clearly the nucleus here, and you can see this granularity within the cytoplasm. I would like to do a little digital trick here, which I often do. Uh, with a filter called sine H enhance, which kind of brighten the whole picture up, but buffers the high end so you don't get too much bleaching. And then after I do that, I usually give it a couple of clicks of regular contrast, which is the most likely thing I do with my images. And now you can appreciate red, variable, irregular, intracytoplasmic inclusions within neurons. These are Negri bodies. Thank you very much.